There is nothing better than real examples, so let's take some examples of agroforestry system in real life. Jiri Mikalisko Farm near Opava in Czech Republic was established in 2009. He combines crop and animal production and farm on around 39 hectares of land. Farmer is also a passionate hunter and he uses his land also for game. He wanted to improve animal welfare, so he planted a couple of trees on his pastures. Soon, he has seen the benefits of trees and expanded tree planting on large proportions of his fields and finally established both Silvo Arable and Silvo Pastoral Systems in 2012. On arable land, he established lines of trees with a distance of 1 to 2 meters and also windbreaks consisting of coniferous trees with spacing 80 by 80 centimeters. Number of apple trees and plums were planted on stony slopes and edges of streams. Farmer's greatest challenge is legislation, which does not support agroforestry systems. He also needs to protect the trees from the damages caused by domestic and wild animals. He has to wait several years for the fruit trees to start producing. Planting trees improved animal welfare and made more natural condition for wildlife, for example, hunting game. Farmer noticed higher content of oil in rapeseed grown in agroforestry system. There is also less erosion on slopey fields of his farm. As the fruit trees grow relatively slower, farmer is still not able to make economic benefit from them. Farmer wants to expand the agroforestry areas. He plans to introduce alley cropping on the part of his arable land. Another case study is from Belgium. The Ferme du Pré is situated in Iltra. It consists of 300 hectares of land where it produces crop and was founded in 1984. Before the farm establishment, there was a factory, so the water contains a lot of calcium. There was also regular floods in the spring, so the farmer started with agroforestry in 2011 with an idea to solve both problems. Additional goals was to increase biodiversity and having some economic benefit from trees in future. However, the main challenge was that nobody had any knowledge of agroforestry so far farmer planted several rows of nut trees 8 metres apart, with a 30 width between each row. Farmer also planted hedges of trees, with high-value trees being 8 metres apart inside of the hedge, and other fruit trees being planted among them that are beneficial to fauna. Farmer increased land quality, and thanks to the planning, row spacing has a potential to harvest nuts as a side product in future even by machinery. On the other side, trees need to be maintained regularly. They need pruning and removal of dead and fallen branches. This farm was established in 2006. It's producing crops, cereals, rapeseed, etc. in 150 hectares of fields in France. This Silvo arable system was first established as experiment in 2009. Farmer wants to see how trees affect the crops. The idea was to improve ecosystem services on the farm, increase biodiversity and soil fertility. Farmer planted the trees in lines alternated with crop strips. Tree lines have 30 meter spacing with 7 meter spacing in between trees. This was designed in order to have a low negative impact on the crops. Most challenging part was to learn and practice right tree pruning, as well as to choose the right type of tree. Some of the trees also been damaged by the diseases, so farmer needs to take care of them or replant them. The whole project was financed by public subsidies, so there was lower initial costs for farmer. Thanks to the planning design, trees do not negatively affect crops yet. Trees are intended to be sold as timber logs in future. Farmer plans to densify trees to produce fuel, which can have some negative effect to the crops. Also, the trees are growing slowly, so it takes more management before they produce any income. The Okahaz farm in Hungary is quite young. It was established in 2015 to produce wood for biomass. 
consists of lines of woody plants with garlic in between them. At the beginning, there was a test with the garlic grown in shade, compared with the garlic grown on open field. After one year, farmer saw increased production of garlic in the shade, so he decided to place trees on a field too. Trees are planted in 0.2 hectares as alley cropping system. They were watered in the first year. Garlic was hand planted. Farmer also protect the trees by electric fence. The Paulonia tree is a fast growing tree producing high quality wood. In combination with garlic, it makes a great product. Trees has increased soil fertility. It's not so dry anymore and trees protect garlic from the direct sunlight. Farmer plans to combine this system with windbreak. There is a Turova farm in Slovakia which produces beef cattle on 235 hectares of pastures. As they want to produce only organic meat, they needed to create better conditions for their cattle. Challenging part is the legislation, but also fencing due to size of the farm, need for new machinery and learning new skills to plant and maintain trees. Planting trees on a pasture decreased weather extremes, increased grass growth and also protects the water on the farm. As a side product, farm produces hay in organic quality. Its quality and amount has increased after tree planting. The farm is focused on olive oil production and aloe. It was established in 2015 and first agroforestry system was made in the early beginning of this farm. This farm is a great example of big change. The farm starts with an olive grove on three hectares of land. Due to lack of water in Spain and water demand of olive trees, there is a very insecure production. Farmer decided to use a row between the olive trees to plant some additional crop. He has chosen aloe because of its low needs and high value. He became with a test field and a big changes. Farmer planted aloe, created a ponds, placed a nest boxes, insect hotels and bring sheep. From inefficient olive grove farm, it became self-sustainable farm. Ponds and nest boxes dramatically increased biodiversity and by doing so, it reduces rodents making damage. Sheep helps to fertilize the land. The olive grove is within a traditional planting frame of 12 by 12 meters. The separation of aloes is approximately one meter between plants of the same line and between lines. The important information is that the whole farm is managed only with manual labor, so there is no need to make a space for machinery.